Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, I'll show you how to subtract a mixed number from another, okay? So let's take two mixed numbers. Let's say, for example, I take a mixed number, say like 2 and 5 sixth, and from it, I want to subtract this another mixed number, say 1 and 2 third, okay? So let's start with the pizzas as usual. So what I do is I take one whole pizza and I make copies of it, okay? And I try to mark 2 and 5 sixths and 1 and 2 thirds on these pizzas. So I make one more copy and I make one more copy, a third copy. So on these three pizzas, what I want to do is I want to mark 2 and 5 sixths, okay? So let's drop some color in them. So this is one whole pizza. This is, these two are two whole pizzas together. And so this is, so these two are this whole number two, okay? And now let's mark 5 sixths on the third pizza. So 5 6 means I cut up this pizza into 6 parts and 5 of those parts is 5 6, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these 5 slices mean 5 6. So together these 3 or these 2 whole pizzas and these 5 slices mean 2 and 5 6, okay? So that's that. Now how about we put 1 and 2 third on pizza. So I take 1 pizza and 1 more pizza. So this over here is one whole pizza which is this whole number part here of the mixed number and this guy the second guy over here I cut it up into three slices and two of those slices is two third so together this whole pizza and these two slices is one and two third okay so what we have is two and five sixth of red pepperoni pizzas and one and two third of yellow cheese pizzas and what I want to find out is how much more pepperoni pizza do I have than cheese pizza okay so let's try to find that out now if you look at these pizzas you see that you have a few whole pizzas and you have a few sliced pizzas so how do you carry out the subtraction i mean what do you subtract from what should we subtract the whole pizzas first or should we subtract the sliced one first or or what i mean it's getting a bit confusing isn't it so how about we take all these pizzas we take all these pepperoni pizzas as well as the cheese pizzas and we cut up everything into slices, okay? We cut up the pepperoni pizzas into slices as well as the cheese pizzas into slices, okay? So that when we want to do subtraction, we can simply count the slices and then we can subtract, right? So how about that? How about we take all these pizzas and we slice them up, okay? So let's uh, try to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these pepperoni pizzas over here and I'm going to cut them up into slices, okay? So how many slices should we cut this up into? Well, since the third pizza over here is cut into six slices, so how about I cut these two pizzas as well, these two whole pizzas as well into six slices. So what I do is I cut these two whole pizzas into six slices as well. Okay, so here's what I've got. I've got six slices on each of these pizzas. Now let's do the same for the yellow pizzas or the cheese pizzas. So what I do is I take, copy these pizzas and I put them down here and I cut them up. Okay, now this time I'm going to cut up this whole pizza into three slices because the guy next to it is also cut into three slices. So I cut this up as well into three slices, okay? Okay, so now we've cut up all the pizzas into slices, but what now? Well, now let's count the slices and cancel them out, okay? So we know that the first pizza over here, the first pepperoni pizza should cancel out with the first cheese pizza because these are two identical pizzas. So let's count the slices and see if they cancel out, okay? So let's see how many slices we've got on the pepperoni pizza. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six slices on the pepperoni pizza. And we know that these six slices should cancel out with the cheese slices. Now how many cheese slices have we got on the first pizza? Well, we've got one, two, and three. And only three slices. So how can you cancel out six pepperoni slices with three cheese slices? You can't, right? Although we know that these pizzas, these first pizzas should cancel out, the six slices don't cancel out with the three slices. So we gotta change something. Actually, we gotta change the way in which we've cut up the slices. So since we have six slices on the pepperoni pizza, how about we try to cut up the cheese pizzas also into six slices, okay? So let's see, if I take each of these slices and cut them into half, let's see how many slices I get, okay? So I cut up each of these yellow pepperoni, eh, sorry, yellow cheese slices into half, and what I get is I have now 
one, two, three, four, five, six, six slices on each of these yellow cheese pizzas. So I have six slices on each of the pepperoni pizzas and I have six slices on each of the cheese pizzas. So now it's uh, pretty straightforward. It's fairly straightforward to cancel out the slices because we have six slices per pizza. So let's count and let's cancel out. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten slices on the cheese pizza. Now these ten slices should cancel out with the ten slices of the pepperoni pizza. So let's uh, do the cancelling out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we've cancelled out ten with ten. Now let's see what's left. Well, what's left is these two slices over here, okay, these two slices, so I put them down here, and what's left is these five slices, okay. So we've got these two slices, okay, these two slices over here, plus these five slices, and that's what's left, two plus five slices left. So there are seven more slices of pepperoni pizza than cheese pizza, that's what this means. Now there's one empty slot here, so how about I take this slice from here and put it into this empty slot over here, okay? So let me erase or let me remove this slice from here and put it into this empty slot over here, okay? Here. So what I see now is I've got one slice and one whole pizza, okay? So what I have left is one slice and one whole pizza. Okay, now this one slice represents the fraction one-sixth of the pizza because this is one slice out of a total of six slices of the pizza, right? The pizza is cut into six slices and this is only one slice. So this represents the fraction one-sixth of the pizza, right? So what I have left is one-sixth and one whole. So I have one sixth and one whole and this is actually equal to the mixed number one and one sixth. This one whole is actually this over here, this whole number and this fraction one sixth is this fraction. So in mixed number format you would write this as one and one sixth. So what you see here is actually this, that you have one and one sixth more of pepperoni pizza than cheese pizza. So that's what it is. Okay, now let's revisit the steps, okay? So what we had at first was this mixed number 2 and 5 sixths and from it we wanted to subtract 1 and 2 thirds to see how much more pepperoni pizza we had, okay? So then what we did was we had whole numbers and we had slices and you know we had whole pizzas and stuff and it was getting very confusing. So what we did was we cut up everything into slices which means we changed this and this these two mixed numbers to improper fractions. So what you do is you change to change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. Okay, improper fractions. So the improper fractions for two and five sixths and one and two third are seventeen upon six and five upon three respectively. Okay, on the pizzas, what this means is that we cut up the pepperoni pizza into 17 slices, okay, with six slices per pizza. And on the cheese pizza, we cut up the cheese pizzas into five slices with three slices per pizza, okay. That's what we had in the beginning, okay. Now, if you don't know how to change mixed numbers to improper fractions, then uh, I've covered that in another video. So do go watch that one, all right. Alright, now what we see here is that these two improper fractions, 17 upon 6 and 5 upon 3, they have different denominators, okay? And the term we use for that is these two fractions are unlike fractions. So these two unlike fractions cannot be subtracted in the way that they are. And if we want to subtract them, what we must first do is change the denominators so they have the same denominator, which means we need to change them to like fractions. So what you do next is after you've changed them to improper fractions, what you do is you change them to like fractions. So change to like fractions, right? Now to change them to like fractions, what you do is you first take these denominators, 6 and 3, and you find out the least common multiple of 6 and 3. Now I've covered least common multiple or LCM in a previous lesson, so I'll assume for now that you know how to find LCM. Now if you don't know how to find out LCM, just go and watch that video, alright? It's a pretty simple one. Anyway, so for now I'll assume that you know that the LCM of 6 and 3 is 6. 
So what that means on the pizzas is that we cut up the cheese pizza as well into six slices. And what we have as the result is the 17 upon 6 stays the same because it's already cut into six slices. But 5 upon 3 is changed to its equivalent fraction 10 upon 6. So what is new here is this fraction 10 upon 6, which means the cheese pizza now has 10 slices when each of the cheese pizza is cut into 6 slices, okay? So now it's pretty straightforward to subtract 10 from 17. What is 17 minus 10? Well, 17 minus 10 is 7. So what the fraction is, is 7 upon 6. And that means that there are 7 more slices of pepperoni pizza than cheese pizza. So the result or the answer is 7 upon 6. So what you've done here is you have just simply subtracted. So you do subtraction. So you subtract. Okay. So after changing the mixed number to improper fractions, what you do is you change them to like fractions and then you subtract. Okay. And what you do after you've done the subtraction is you change this improper fraction, 7 upon 6, back to a mixed number because the original number that you were subtracting were also mixed numbers. 2 and 5 sixth and 1 and 2 thirds are both mixed numbers. So you change 7 upon 6 back to mixed number. So what you do is you change to mixed number. Alright, that brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you understood what I've taught and I hope that now you'll go back and do some practice exercises to get perfect. So for practice exercises, go to www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.